Hi everybody. This is for those of you thinking about doing an apprenticeship. I just wanted to give you some tips for when you're um, looking at apprenticeships, helping you to make the, the best decision for you in terms of which apprenticeship to apply for. The first tip I would suggest is, do you really understand what the job is? So have you read the description that they've put online or wherever you've read it um, of the apprenticeship? And for some jobs that might be hopefully easier than others, but don't be put off if you think you know what it is, but you're not really sure. You can always call them up and um, usually they have their contact details, either the training provider or the employer. So make sure you really understand what the job is all about. Second thing is make sure you've checked the level. And I've talked about that in another video, but apprenticeships a bit like GCSEs and A-levels and, and degrees are at different levels. So some are the equivalent of GCSE level and they go right up to degree level. So make sure that you are um, doing apprenticeship which you think is the right sort of level for you. But do keep in mind that if you've never done something like the apprenticeship you're starting, it's unlikely that you'll be able to be at the same level that, that you would expect to be at, say, um, if you've already done your GCSEs and A-levels, you might have to do it at the same level as, as A-level again. Um, and that's not because you're not capable, it just you're not used to the, this new um, subject because it's a bit like a, a bit like a new course and they wouldn't be able to go and let you um, study a degree if you've never done it for GCSE, for example. So check the level. You need to make sure you are happy with the employer but also with the training provider. You'll find there's lots of information online about different training providers and different employers and it's probably worth doing a little bit of research to see what people's feedback is about them. Um, you'll probably get pe different people saying different things but read it all and make that decision about whether you think they're going to be a good employer and a good training provider for what you need. Most apprenticeships are kind of full-time work so that might be kind of 35, 40 hours a week, but they might be nine to five or it might be sort of evenings and weekends. So make sure you're conscious of what kind of hours they're gonna be expecting from you. Also make sure you know where the actual apprenticeship is gonna be because sometimes it might be somewhere that's maybe outside of town and it could be a bit trickier to get to. So they might require you to have a car um, or it might be you know, a couple of bus tri trips away. Um, those kind of things are really important because if it's gonna be somewhere you're going every day, um, you wanna make sure it's somewhere you can get to okay. Have a look at um, how long they expect you to take to complete the apprenticeship. Apprenticeships are great that, that sometimes you can actually do them quicker than you would expect if you're really flying with it. Um, but it might be that this is an apprenticeship that's expected to take one year or up to kind of two or three years. So um, check that before you, you start so you're not kind of surprised and they suddenly <laughs> start talking about something two years away. Last couple of points pay it is important ideally you, you know it would be the min minimum wage minimum apprenticeship wage but you'll find that some employers actually do pay more than that so it's worth you know checking looking around to see if there's a, a similar sort of apprenticeship that actually might pay a little bit more if that's something that's important to you and last but not least make sure that whatever they th say that it's going to lead to is something that you're interested in. So most apprenticeship providers are hoping that you'll be a great candidate and that they'll be able to offer you a full-time job at the end of it. But others might not be able to do that. Um, and it's worth asking them, you know, how many apprentices have gone on to work at the company or what are they doing now? It might sound like a scary question to ask, but it's really important because it's your future and you want to make sure that you're making the right choice that's going to give you the opportunities that you're interested in. So hopefully those tips um, are useful to you and um, any questions, drop us a DM or email, or go on the website, chat, whatever it is, however you want to communicate with us, um, get in contact. Take care. Bye.